This is Ian with Zing. I'm going to be showing you how to use the Zing Pilot application. So under part 107, you can make deliveries with your DJI drone in locations like this where you can keep your line of sight with your drone. So as you can see here, there's a big waterway separating us from that other side of the water over there with the land. And that takes over 15 minutes to drive, but with a drone, we can just make that delivery in under two minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and go into the application here and show you how everything works. So the main thing we're going to focus on here is giving you full airspace awareness as a Part 107 pilot. So if you zoom in here, you can see all the locations of the hospitals, schools, and prisons, as well as the controlled airspace. Um, and with the controlled airspace, if you're in an area that is lance enabled, meaning that you can fly within five miles of the airport, um, you can actually make a lance request through AirMap using the Zing Pilot application. And we also have the ADSB traffic of all the manned aircraft in the area. So with, if you're within 30 miles of a major Class B airport, all of the traffic in that area is required to have an ADSB out transponder on it. So we're within 30 miles of Tampa Airport right here, and you can see all of these red dots are actually the real-time location of those aircraft. Ever since 2016, there used to be a five-minute delay before that, but now all of the ADSB information is real-time. And as you can see, this manned aircraft, whether it's a helicopter or a plane, is moving pretty quickly across the map. So, I'll just run through the tutorial real quick with you. The first step is to connect your remote controller to your uh, smartphone. So with DJI drones, usually there's a USB connection. All you gotta do is make that connection. The next step is to place your drone in an area with nothing directly overhead because the drone will ascend to 100 feet autonomously. And once it ascends to 100 feet autonomously, it's going to go directly to the GPS coordinate you selected on the map. Um, you, so yeah, you tap, all you do is tap the launch button to st start ascending to 100 feet. Uh, you can tap abort anytime to get your manual control back. In case anything goes wrong or there's a manned aircraft coming, you can descend safely. Uh, the drone will descend to 15 feet when you reach the destination. So say when I get across this water over here, the drone hits the GPS point, it goes down to 15 feet, and then you get back manual control so you can safely make that final descent. And lastly, once you've dropped off the package, um, all you have to do is click return home, and the drone will autonomously ascend back to 100 feet and come back to where it took off from. So... On the map here, you can see I can switch the map theme. Uh, I can either do light mode, standard mode, or satellite mode. And I like to use satellite mode to get the most accurate coordinate selection. So you can see here I have the location of the drone. And then I'm going to tap a waypoint. It's not all the way across just because uh, we're not making an actual delivery right now. And all I have to do is tap launch to start the autonomous flight. It's going to give me a warning that it's going to ascend directly upwards to 200 feet. So I'm going to go ahead and agree. And the drone is first going to find its home point. And after it finds its home point, then it's going to go directly upwards to 100 feet. That way it knows where to return home to. And I can just tap the FPV here to switch completely over to FPV mode with the minimap there in the corner. And the cool thing about this application is that I can actually change the heading of the drone and the flight path remains fully intact. And I can also change the speed and the flight path will still remain intact. Now, I'm going to bring it up to full speed here, and you can see the drone moving across the map here. 
And now I can still zoom out to see if there's any manned aircraft coming. Um, just to make sure that the area is safe. So yeah, the main purpose of this application is to enable drone deliveries under part 107. So most drone pilots own DJI drones and currently the photography market is becoming pretty saturated so this is a new way to earn money with your drone. So you can see we're approaching the destination here and once we hit this destination the drone will descend to 15 feet autonomously. And as you can see this delivery would have taken 15 minutes to complete by car but it only took about one minute to complete with a drone so it, it can solve a lot of logistical issues now all I gotta do once I actually drop off the package is tap return home and you can see the drone is ascending back upwards to 100 feet and it's going to start once it hits under feet it'll start returning back to me So the Mavic and the Phantom can carry about two or three pounds, but if you want to really be able to carry large items, you need to use something with like the Matrice 200, the Matrice 600, or a custom solution built with the A3 flight controller. And using our Zing Pilot app, you can actually use any of those. And the Zing Pilot app is available for free on the iOS App Store right now. All you got to do is go on there and search for Zing Pilot. We're planning on coming out with an Android version that is still in the works, but as of right now, the uh, Zing Pilot is iOS only, compatible with both iPhone and iPad. So you can see here the drone is returning home. It's almost back to my location. And we also have this landing pad here, this custom landing pad that we're working on some autonomous software for. And we'll let you guys know when that's out and can be implemented. So the drone hit 15 feet, and now I have manual control to do a safe final descent here at the landing location. So thank you guys for watching and that's a Zing pilot application.